Good afternoon. Um, they, I'm from Stable Seas, and um, we're not um, a project of One Earth Future anymore. We are now a full-fledged foundation. Africa Renaissance, through the sustainable explo exploitation of the continental and maritime domain. With 38 African countries, um, with um, coastal countries of 54, the maritime domain awareness plays a key role in the overall security and stability of the continent. The IMO defines uh, maritime domain awareness as the effective understanding of anything associated with the maritime domain and that could impact the security, safety, economy, and environment. Um, as you can see from the slide, um, around African coast, we have um, several um, security challenges. Um, piracy and armed robbery being one. Um, on the coast of, uh, on the Gulf of Guinea, um, incidents now has moved up to 200 nautical mile off the coast, um, uh, making use of uh, um, um, a vacuum in security where it's uh, very difficult for countries to operate. Um, in the, in the um, Indian Ocean side, um, we don't have had any piracy incidents in the last um, two years. Um, piracy, we classify of, in, of incidents that's international waters, um, but we did have 17 incidents that we classified as um, armed robbery against ships. Um, one of the, the, um, the more challenging points at this stage, especially um, concerning and affecting um, uh, regions in southern Africa is the situation in, in the northern Mozambique. Um, we find there that there's been at, um, attacks on small um, sailing vessels um, and on um, vessels carrying food between Pemba and Palma by um, Ansar al Suna. Um, and we had one boarding of a vessel this year in March uh, that could not be uh, confirmed. Um, most of these incidents on this stage is in connection with um, the food or, or fish on board of this to supply um, the insurgents with food, but it's also a way to cut off supplies. Um, to, to the local population um, in this area. At this stage, we don't think it, affect, um, it will affect uh, uh, vessels on international voyage, but it does affect vessels close to shore. And then we have several other incidents that um, affect security in the region and the maritime domain. Um, such as uh, weapon smuggling and uh, connected to that in, of your men, um, AIS spoofing, um, uh, all to, to smuggle me uh, weapons to your men in violation of sanctions. Then we have um, several um, uh, problems with drug smuggling as well. Um, the, they call the drugs reaching the East African coast, um, we call it a um, southern route from, from Afghanistan through um, Iran and um, Pakistan, and it reached several small uh, um, ports of the East African coast. And to effective govern this maritime spaces, states, states need to accurate picture what is happening and where in order to establish normal patterns of life. Um, so we can understand what, is, what security incidents and what else is out of the norm um, to better uh, respond um, with limited as, um, assets to suspicious activity. Oh, sorry. 
Uh, you might ask what cell phones has to do with maritime domain awareness. And it can be um, that it, um, hum the human um, intelligence gathering can be used by seafarers using cell phones. They are a very uh, important source of information. Um, a, a fisherman was also, with the help of cell phones, um, a, a responsible in several projects um, to give data, to gather information on um, IUU fishing. But um, what, where I'm going with this is there's also a tendency of, of seafarers um, on international voyages um, to move closer to the coast to get cell phone reception. So they move off their normal patterns um, um, to get closer so they can have cell phone reception. The Wakashi oil spill um, this was an incident, as everyone knows, that um, happened on 25th of July last year, um, where the vessel um, hit the ground, went to ground, um, and two, uh, on the 6th of August it started spilling oil um, into, into, um, onto the reefs and the coastal area. Um, what happened here is that um, on uh, several days before, two days before she hit on the 23rd, they were still on a route uh, 20 nautical miles that would have taken them 20 nautical miles off the coast. But then they adjusted the route um, to five uh, nautical miles off the coast and then a later on a further two. Um, to so the crew can have access to cell phones. This was an, uh, um, what um, ultimately one of the reasons this incident happened. Um, there was other factors also involved, um, such as the scale of the map that they used was not sufficient for the area um, and so close to to shore, um, and. Um, the watchkeeping was not sufficient on the vessel. COVID also, I think, in several cases in incidents in the last uh, year had an uh, effect as, as crew went way over their contracts. Um, on this particular vessel, there were three crew that uh, um, went over um, their, their time um, and, and um, the vessel was understaffed. Um, to make the situation more complex, uh, the, uh, the Mauritius Coast Guard officer that was on duty only checked the radar in a, once in a two-hour um, period, and he noted too late when um, this vessel was too close to the coast, and then he, he uh, didn't assess the situation uh, fully. Um, he, did, he thought there was nothing wrong because he didn't think it has a security um, implication, missing that it could um, have other implications. He, call, uh, he uh, contacted a radio, radio sta station, which tried to contact the vessel seven times. Um, they couldn't um, reach the vessel. Um, so where I'm going with this is it's often the things that uh, in the maritime domain that you don't think affect um, the maritime domain um, and the awareness from what's going on in your total um, uh, maritime domain um, area um, that, uh, th that um, you have to look at as well. In, um, on the African coast, we have several um, challenges. The maritime domain and the, um, often in formal formulation of strategies um, with national security strategies, the um, maritime is um, neglected in many instances. The challenges of developing robust uh, MDA is made all the more difficult by a variety of factors, including the relative limited assets and resources of uh, some regional navies that uh, I think was mentioned several times already. 
Um, this goes that a, pre a physical presence is difficult to sustain uh, for assets um, in the area. Then also, as previously stated, the massive size of, uh, of maritime states' domains have an influence and the sheer number of vessels that is operating um, in this area. Um, we often have blurred lines between um, illicit and illicit activities um, in the area, especially when we look at, at um, some aspects like um, in the oil trade. Um, a challenge in, this, uh, um, in the African context as well is um, several of the vessels that's involved in trafficking um, in, in um, drugs and weapons in the area is a small dows and, and they uh, usually um, land at small anchorages and it's very hard often to detect um, this um, small vessels. South Africa um, is in a unique um, position to be uh, both on, on um, both coast, the uh, Atlantic Ocean and uh, Indian Ocean. Um, we have uh, well-developed well uh, collective uh, MDA systems um, for information sharing. The Djibouti Code of Conduct um, was adopted in 2009 between East African countries, and it was initially focused on counter piracy, um, but it was, uh, the mandate was changed um, with a JEDA amendment to also uh, include uh, trafficking and terrorism um, to have a more comprehensive security approach. Um, in, in the area also, um, the mandate of EUNAF for um, has been extended now from counter piracy also to in include a wider mandate to include these uh, comprehensive security approaches. Um, we have all in place regional maritime information fusion centers and national focus points already. Then on the Atlantic side, maritime security threats in the Gulf of Guinea, uh, Guinea hinder development efforts and fuels instability in the region. Um, here, 25 countries from Western Central Africa has, uh, came together in 2013 to develop the Yaoundi Code of Conduct concerning the repression of piracy, armed robbery against ships, and illicit maritime activity in Western Central Africa, um, otherwise known as the Yaoundi Code. Um, here we have five zones housing multinational maritime coordination centers with two regional information sharing coordination centers. Then uh, asset that's uh, often not uh, well used um, is human intelligence. Um, on land, we often use, use human intelligence, um, but this can be replicated in, in a maritime security. Um, and it's, it can successfully be used against counterinsurgents and, and uh, maritime police uh, um, operations. Um, shipping fleets, fishing vessels um, and ports all are valuable sources of information that can be better utilised. Um, th these individuals on these vessels have have the potential to be the eyes and ears necessary to develop a strong MDA for resource-constrained states around the world. Um, they have a vested instant, uh, interest in security, and by building stronger relationships with members of community, maritime enforcement authorities can improve maritime security while using scarce re resources more efficiently. Then state parties to 
UNCLOS have an obligation to preserve the maritime environment in not only the territorial sea, but also in the EEZ and the high seas. The blue economy is vital to the sustainable development of coastal economies, global food and energy security, and international commerce. The maritime transportation sector carries some 90% of the world's in international uh, um, trade and 1 billion people in developing countries depend on seafood as their primary source of protein. However, the over-exploitation of ma uh, marine fisheries resources, the impact of climate change and uh, maritime crimes such as IUU fishing and piracy and robbery at sea can threaten these industries and undermine coastal economies. The blue economy pre presents many opportunities for the growing population and has a potential to expand the national economies of countries through fisheries, tourism, offshore oil and gas and maritime transportation sectors. A very important thing about um, the root causes of many of these crimes we uh, looked at in the first slide is the root causes behind them is lack of economic opportunities and employment. And the blue economy has the ability um, to provide opportunities. Um, if we are in the position to create more opportunities, we can potentially um, bring um, these crimes down as people will have a choice uh, um, in, in um, creating a sustainable, uh, sustainable livelihood for themselves. Thank you for this opportunity.